Christians Antiphon? O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And today, as we gather together, we're celebrating on the uh, weekend of uh, uh, Victory in Europe Day, which was celebrated yesterday, and uh, also on Thursday, there's two days for Victory in Europe, May 7th and May 8th, uh, um, and of course that was uh, brought about uh, the beginning of the end of the uh, most terrible war in human history uh, with the defeat of the Nazis. Um, and so as we gather together, let's call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church, that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, it was necessary that the word of God be it was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first but since you reject it and condemn yourself as unworthy of eternal life we now turn to the gentiles for so the lord has commanded us i have made you a light to the gentiles that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe and the word of the Lord continued <clears throat> to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshippers and the leading men of the city, stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the for him 
has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All of the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing, break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth has seen the saving power of God. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's gospel is somewhat challenging. Why? For various reasons. First, of course, uh, uh, Jesus tells Philip that if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. So that's challenging to realize that if we truly want to know what our Heavenly Father is like, we simply have to look at Jesus, who Jesus is, how he acts, everything about him tells us about his Heavenly Father. He's the perfect reflection of his Father's glory. And then uh, um, uh, Jesus uh, tells us that um, two things, uh, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these. I don't know about you, but I really don't think I'm up to doing greater works than Jesus. I, I mean, it just seems, 
But I think Jesus sort of explains it when he says, because I am going to the Father. And so what he means is, we're here on earth. He's going to work through us to do works here on earth. And in a sense, there'll be greater ones than Jesus. Why? Because we're here. We're humans doing our work on earth uh, in the name of Jesus. And he's going to be with us. And then he says, if you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. Now, I don't know about you, but this also is rather challenging. It means, does this mean we're supposed to be always successful if we do things in the name of Jesus? I don't think that's what Jesus is saying. I think he means he will do it with us. Whatever we're trying to do for him, he will do it with us. And we see an example of this, you know, uh, in our first reading today. Uh, uh, St. Paul and uh, Barnabas are out preaching at a synagogue. I forget where this is. It's not mentioned the name of the city. But they're at the synagogue. They tell the about Jesus. And the majority of people, of the Jewish people there at the synagogue, reject him. Some uh, reject the news about Jesus, the gospel, but some accept it. And then they say, okay, uh, but, you know, Jesus is with them. And then they're inspired by the Holy Spirit because you've rejected. We're going to turn to the Gentiles. And there's a bunch of Gentiles there. Why? Because in those days, there were many, many people who lived like these people in a pagan area who were not Jewish, who went to the synagogue because they did believe in God. They did not believe in the pagan gods, but they couldn't become Jewish. That It would divide them from their families. They'd have to keep kosher. It would be just... Uh, so even though they believed in God and they worshipped in the synagogue, they couldn't become Jewish. So when Paul says, well... They can be included in this message of Jesus. They can become followers of Jesus too and worship God with Jesus, his son. They're thrilled. They're amazed. So even though they failed, in one sense, they didn't uh, bring all the Jewish people to the gospel. They succeeded in other. Christ, Jesus was with them. And they uh, begin their gospel proclamation to the Gentiles, which includes all of us. Um, so uh, uh, Jesus was with them, even though they weren't totally successful. Even in their failures, he brought about another type of success. So today, let's remember, with Jesus with us, we can do great things for him. He's going to be with us whatever we ask him to, to help accomplish his task. And now let's bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. We pray for the church throughout the world, uh, especially uh, in all those missionary areas uh, where they are spreading the gospel, that God may be with all the missionaries and all the faithful there so that the gospel may spread and uh, that there may be, in this time of pandemic, uh, even here in the USA, a, a greater spread of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all world leaders that on this uh, weekend of the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II in Europe, uh, that they may recommit themselves to peace in the world among all nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all the sick, especially those dear to us, especially those dying of the coronavirus. Uh, and we pray in a special way for uh, our parishioner, Barbara Gallery, who's in the last uh, uh, moments of her life, that God may grant her and all uh, 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 our beloved sick healing and strength, and if not, the grace of a happy death. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all the dead, especially those dear to us, and in a special way to Father Ralph Fratz, a, a priest who died this week, a priest of the Diocese of Rochester, but who spent the uh, years of his retirement uh, ministering in Utica, that God may grant Father Ralph and all our beloved dead a place of refreshment, light, 
and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who uh, work in all of our essential services. We pray especially today for the first responders, all those who uh, go out to uh, care for the sick, not knowing if they have the coronavirus and taking all their precautions, but helping whoever has called on them, that God may bless them, protect them, and help all uh, those in essential services uh, uh, be of help to those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pause now to add our own intentions in the silence of our heart. Almighty God, we bring our prayers before you, knowing that you will answer them as you do all things through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, Make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Well, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. The integrity of life is restored to us in Christ, therefore, overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, 
so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, may become, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Margaret Mary, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Douglas, our bishop, our retired bishop Robert, the ordered bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all, to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the vision, the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. The salvation of the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is in. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 